The clavicle is a double curved long bone which attaches the upper limb to the trunk as a part of shoulder girdle. Now shoulder girdle is a bony ring formed by the scapula and clavicle posteriorly and manubrium sterni anteriorly. It basically connects the freely moving upper limb to the axial skeleton that comprises of head, neck and the trunk. Clavicle is an S-shaped bone. As we can see from the picture that medial side of the clavicle is convex and the lateral side is concave anteriorly. Due to this arrangement of two halves of the bone, it gives an S-shape. It is the only long bone which is placed horizontally. It is a subcutaneous bone that is also called as the beauty bone, as it's also said to be the symbol of beauty. Now the clavicle has two main functions. It provides support to the upper limb and also act as a mechanical barrier. Let's see how. It transmits weight, any shock or any traumatic impact of the upper limb to the trunk. For example, if I'm holding a book, so my clavicles would transmit the book's weight to my trunk so that my upper limb would be balanced. Clavicle prevents drooping of shoulders as when persons experiences a fracture of clavicle, his shoulder would depress but not dislocate due to strong ligaments connecting it to scapula. It keeps the arm away from trunk so that it can move freely. It also assists the movement of arm above the level of the shoulder. So basically, it serves as a rigid support to scapula and arm. Clavicle forms one of the bony boundaries of the cervical axillary canal. This is a passageway between neck and arm, providing protection to the neurovascular bundle supplying the upper limbs. So it acts as a mechanical barrier. More facts about this peculiar bone are Clavicle has no medullary cavity, which is a tubular cavity in a bone-carrying bone marrow. It is the first bone to start ossification, which is the process of formation of bone by the osteoblasts. Later, it becomes the last bone to stop ossification. It is said that it's the only long bone having two ossification centers, that is the primary one and the secondary one. Now we will move towards the different parts of the clavicle. Let's see how they all play a part to make our upper limb sturdy and strong.